So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put your own personal photos, like this is the default one, onto the Uconnect 430 in the 2017 Jeep Wrangler. Mine is obviously the newest Jeep, so I think some models are a little bit different, but I know that this model is in most Jeeps, so that's why I'm going to be showing you this. So first, you cannot use a regular like HDMI cord or obviously anything like that because that doesn't have any files on it, so what you need is a little thumb drive like this something that holds a few pictures and so pretty much before you need to make sure that you put the pictures like probably from your phone or from a camera onto your computer and then from your computer you put this in and put them onto the thumb drive that way you can transport them onto here so this is just the default view that I have on first so I'm just go ahead and insert that and it's going to go ahead and do this. Now mine, I've already added mine, so they're already going to be on here, but I'm still going to show you guys how to do it. So after you've added this, you're going to go to My Files, and you're going to go to My Pictures. So these are my two pictures that I have added. And so these won't be here for you guys. They'll just have the default one. So then you're going to go to Add, and it'll pull up this. You'll hit Front USB, Searching for Files, and it'll pull up all the pictures that you've put on here to choose from to put on your thing. It does take a minute to load, so you're going to have to wait a minute. And then pretty much it'll pop up and then you can select, it'll give you like the option to click it. And then you save, you save all the ones that are on your USB, you're going to save them onto like pretty much the, like the Uconnect system, it'll save them. So then I'll select both of these and then you hit save down here. And it won't do anything for a minute and you might be a little bit confused, but it's just, all it's doing is just taking a minute to save them. So you hit exit and it's still on this view. So then you have to go back to my files, go to my pictures, and then mine saved them twice obviously. So then you just go here, click one, whichever one you want to be on your default view, like that other picture is the regular default one. This will be on, see it just finished. So then this will be on, like whatever one you pick will be the one you just hit says picture view. It becomes your default image, and then you all you have to do is hit exit, and then go back to menu, go back to your radio, whatever you want to be on, and that'll be your new default image. So yeah, it is super simple. Just make sure you add those photo, all the photos on that you want so you can choose from, and don't forget to save them. It does take a minute to save them.